Hey guys, it's Zainab and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'll be sharing my technique for painting acrylic portraits and painting dark skin. So if you like this video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. If you'd like to see more art tutorials, time lapses, art vlogs, and just day in the life as a full-time artist. Okay, so let's get into it. So today we will be using Liquitex Basics Acrylic Paint. So this is what I use to make my paint smoother and it helps it slow down the drying time. It's called Retarder by Golden and it is literally a lifesaver. The paint brushes I'll be using are mostly flat, fine tip, angled, and filbert brushes. These are the main colors I will be using to mix my skin tones, which are primary blue, cadmium yellow, and cadmium red. So first I'm going to lay out all my skin tones. Then I'm going to start mixing the primary colors. So all three colors, red, blue, and yellow, make like this rich brown, but you have to play with it a little bit to get it more balanced. If it looks purplish, it might need more yellow. If I want it to make it more milk chocolate, I'm going to add some more red and yellow, you know, which is orange. So now I'm adding raw and burnt sienna to make it a tad lighter, but still deep. I'm also going to add a small amount of retarder to the paint. Too much of the retarder will make it really thin and you know, if you only use a little bit, it's not going to do the trick. So this second shade is going to be for my mid-tones. It's going to be lighter than the first tone since that first tone that we made is going to be for the shadows. So I'm going to use the same two shades that I just put in. And we're also going to put in a little bit of the retarder. So now I'm going to scoop some of the mid-tones for my highlights or my lighter tones. And I'm repeating this process basically to ensure that I'm keeping the same values and not creating colors that are too off. So I'm going to add some pink and a little bit of white. And then I'm going to add some of that color down the line just to, you know, keep the same value. So after you have sketched your image, you're going to create, whether it's from your imagination or a reference picture, you're going to use that to pick out where you're going to have the dark tones, the mid tones, and the lighter tones. We're going to stick to three shades, dark, medium, and light. So for me, I like to keep circles. So right here, 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 and here is where I know where to keep the light tones at. You don't have to sketch out these circles, but whatever works for you. So because I want her to have an orange undertone, I'm going to use this color and I'm going to water it down a lot. You basically want it to look like watercolor when it shows up on the canvas. So now that I have my colors, I'm going to start down the underpainting process. So you're just going to take a large brush and just paint all over her face so now i'm using a damp paper towel to block out the highlights that i had already sketched on her face now i'm going to use a darker shade or the less watered down part of that paint to block out the shadows her cheekbones her chin and all that stuff so now we're on our second layer and what I'm basically doing is blocking out the dark tones, the mid tones, and the highlights. I'm starting from the bottom to the top using the dark tone, then the mid tone, then the light tone. I'm not too focused on blending on the stage because this is just to block out shapes and to get the base colors down. 
You don't want to get too into details because this is just to block out our tones. If you're using a reference, you want to be sure that you're keeping the shapes intact so that it's not too far off. For her lashes and eyebrows, I am also using a darker tone. So I might, you know, mix some burnt umber or a little bit of black to do the lashes, brows, and hair. So as we get to the third layer, you're basically doing the same process, but with this, you want the paint to be a little less thick so that you're able to blend. So I put my dark tones in, I'm putting my mid-tone in. You want to have more of your mid-tone shade in so that it's easier to blend the light shade and the dark shade within it. I'm just blocking out my dark tones at the top, putting in the mid-tone, and then putting a little bit of the lighter shade within it. Another tip for blending is wiping your brush off slightly before blending between two colors. This makes it more seamless. And for the smaller areas that you're getting into, of course, you wanna use smaller brushes. And the third layer and beyond, you basically just want to keep on building up layers where you're blending and adding more thinner layers of paint to get those details in. The more layers, the more detailed. And for the small details like edges, lashes, or brow hairs, you want to use fine tip brushes and you want to make sure the paint is thin. If the paint is thick, it's not really going to move. Sorry, it's not going to move as well. So you want it to be thin and watery. Not too watery, but you just want it to be thin so that you have more control. Thank you. 
So now I'm just working on the rest of the image, her hijab, her shirt, getting those little details in the background. So just to recap, we did our first layer, which was the underpainting. We did our second layer, which was just adding in the base tones, aka the ugly stage, you know, not going into any details. We have the third layer where we start blending. And after the third layer, it's just free game. You keep building more and more layers, more details, more blending. And then finally you work on the rest of your painting and you're done. Thank you so much guys for watching and I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment any feedback, tips, tricks as an artist, or any questions you have if you're just starting out. Or even if you're not just starting out. We're all learning, honestly. But, you know, don't forget to subscribe. I think I've said that already. <laughs> See you guys.